Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. Jesus withdrew from that place. A large crowd followed him, and he healed all who were ill. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter, he said. Your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed at that moment. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them, and health to one's whole body. But I will restore to you health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am a warrior. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him, and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. The thief's purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy. My purpose is to give life in all its fullness. And if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of His Spirit who lives in you. By faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has completely healed him, as you can all see. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteem him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed.
Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. At sunset, the people brought to Jesus all who had various kinds of sickness, and laying his hands on each one, he healed them. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength they will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I did not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit.